why can't like i oh my god the energy i'm so sorry that the energy is down in this video and that i look awful i have the c word it got me with a vengeance too if you're new here hello please stick around and watch my other videos too because i promise the energy is a lot better in most of those Today I have my January TBR. I'm gonna just hop right in. I have all these books. I have a few down here. So the first one I have here is Severance by Ling Ma. I really don't know much about this book. I just wanna feel cool. I just posted a That Girl Book Recommendations, um, which I will link here. It's literally a three minute long video because I was rambling so much and had to cut it all out. But I just posted that and I know a lot of people consider this like a that girl book. So like I'll be the judge of that. Then I have Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Adichie. This is by the author of We Should All Be Feminist, which is a TED talk technically, but it's sold as like a little book. There's a fictional novel by her. So I'm just excited to get into this because I love the way she writes. I love it. And I obviously agree with her opinions. So I'm excited about that book. The next one we have here, oh, is A Court of Silver Flames. This is the last book in the Akatar series. I'm currently in the middle of the third and it's December 28th. So will I actually get to that in January or will I be reading the other two in January? We'll see. Next, we have Twisted Hate and Twisted Lies. Listen, I read Twisted Love in April and I hated it so bad. <laughs> like I hated it. And I liked it at first and then it just got weird and I was like, I fucking hate this and it put such a bad taste in my mouth. And I was like, I'm not gonna read the series. But then like on a whim, I just kind of bought Twisted Games and oh my God, it's like a five-star read for me. What does that tell you about my taste? Don't know. So now I am excited to go through this. When people say the series gets better, they really mean it. A lot of people say Twisted Games is the best, but I'm still, I still have hope for these. So I am excited to read these. I just want to finish the series. If you do want to see my review on Twisted Games, I'll post my November wrap up up here. Wow, there's going to be a lot of videos linked. My bad. Go watch them anyway. The next one I have is Addicted to You with the bookmark in it. If you've seen my physical TBR, which if you haven't, go watch it. The plugs are really getting out of hand. If you've seen my physical TBR video, which I was also sick in with a different illness, you know I DNF'd this book. I'm giving her another chance though. I didn't want to get, I wanted to give her another chance. So I'm going to try. I think I'll be in a better like mindset to read this. I was just reading a lot of literary fiction when I read this book. People swear by this series and I do want to get into it. I need things to read. So I'm going to try again and I will start from the beginning. What even bookmark is this? Oh my god, it's Hedwig. <laughs> and I have A Hundred Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I'm so excited to read this one finally. This book has scared me. I've tried picking it up like a billion times and I'm always so scared. Like I won't even read the first page because it's like kind of a difficult read. I've heard that everyone has like similar names so it gets confusing. I really want to get into this just at the beginning of the year because I love Gabriel Garcia Marquez. One of his books that I would recommend if this one is like kind of intimidating to you. I would recommend Chronicle of a Death Foretold. It is a novella. It is so easy to get through because it's so fast paced and I loved it. And that's a great way to get into Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Next book I have, very different, Binding 13. I only buy one book of the series at a time, so I don't have Keeping 13 yet, but if I like Binding 13, I will read it. I'm also intimidated by this book because it's gigantic and it's literally the size of my head. And I heard, oh yeah, small ass font I don't even really know the plot well i do because i bought it because destiny sidwell which love her oh my god like literally the queen this is like on her five star reads and i trust pretty much most of the things she says all the time every day so i only have three books left they're all spoilers for my upcoming collective haul and i do have more it will be like a book haul and like fashion lifestyle stuff so like they'll be a good mix and i do have more books than just these but i'm gonna tell you anyway so the first one i'm terrified the love in other words by christina lauren i can't tell you how many times i've seen a billion people recommend something as five stars and it's been like the worst thing i've ever been read in my life not to say that like my opinions end all be all if you love a book that i hate that doesn't make the book bad necessarily. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy this or not, but I really hope I do. Friends to Lovers isn't like my favorite trope, but I do really like Christina Lauren and I love their writing. And I have this one I'm also scared of, 
Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I'm excited to read this. I am, but I'm terrified that I'm gonna hate it. I'm so scared that I'm not gonna like it. Scared Book Talk is going to fail me yet again on this one. So we'll see how I feel about that. Next one I have, <laughs> this one is like a dark romance and I've never really read like a dark romance before. I mean like I've kind of dabbled, but it's like not like I get like, eh, you know, like it's, I'm so like that's too much for me, but I want to try it. I just want to see where it takes me and it's The Air by Sophie Lark, which what even series is this? The Kingmaker series. Like, I'm gonna have to just take myself out of reality and be like, okay, this is a fictional book. Pretend you're reading the Harry Styles fan fictions on Wattpad when you were 12. Maybe I need to be in that mindset. I need to be in 12 year old Gina's mindset that was like, oh my God, this is so good. I do have a thing about casual misogyny. I don't enjoy it. And so I know a lot of like mafia, I don't even know if this is mafia, but like dark romances have a lot of misogyny. I don't know if I want to consume that as entertainment necessarily, you know? It's all the books I have on my January TBR. Those are the 11 books that I'm planning to read. This is like a little shorter list than I normally have. Normally I have more books on my TBR than I usually read and I like it that way just because I like to give myself options. If you are new, again, thank you for sticking around. Hit the subscribe button. It's like not as bad to say anymore. Wow, it's getting better as I go, you know? But like hit the subscribe button and watch my other videos that are linked. I promise I have way more energy in those than I do now. If you are sick right now, hugs and hearts to all of you guys. And I hope you guys have a happy new year and I will see you in the new year. Okay, bye.